You a boss, I'm a boss too Lil' baby, when I pull up, what you gon' do? No L's, all dubs, what I'm used to Quick, can't get this bag, just me Maddie's plate My plate Why is my mine so tiny? Jose's plate So we got our whole little setup going Hey guys, Hello. welcome back to Ratones Anda so today we're doing a mukbang and we will be talking about bullying. We're gonna eat some We love this soup. Oh my god. So on my plate you guys are gonna see there's no veggies and that's because I drank my veggies. So a number one tip I can give people who don't really like veggies Drink them. Literally put a few vegetables in a blender, blend them up, and drink it. It'll be much quicker and easier than forcing yourself to eat veggies. That's if you don't that's if you really don't like veggies. Um I personally do, but today I decided to drink my veggies. Just, I should do that. Just because I, I wanted a green veggies. juice. So yeah, and she should try it. Definitely make your kids try it because they need to be eating their vegetables. Empezaron sin me, tienes que mostrar. No, tu cara comiéndolo. Guys, it has oxtail inside. Oh, and chicken. Mm. These are like baby oxtails. Oh, I can't drink. She made a green sauce? That's green sauce. Though. It's like picante. It's like a little bit of hot sauce, but not too much. It's just so good. Oh my gosh, she made it so good. Mom, if you're watching this, we love your food. We love you, Mom. We love you, and thank you for making... A delicious food. A delicious meal. Day. You cook so good, Mom, if you're watching this. And we have to support. We'll give her the highest number, right? Oh, like if we have to rate it? Yeah. Mm hmm. Que si lo califica la comida, que le harías, dice Mario. De Luna de. Malin dice que el máximo. Yo también. Uy, también. También. So the food gets a 10 out of 10 for everybody. I'm gonna open up the Diet Coke. Oh, ketchup, if you know me, buy me ketchup for Christmas, I'll be so happy. So, I guess I'll start off with my bullying story. I'll give you my advice and then he will give his advice. I think the bullying for me started in middle school. Hey you guys, so, it's actually a different day. <laughs> to be honest, we were bickering that day. Wait, wait, wait. No relationship is perfect. And even with my sister, we were like all bickering. So I was like, you know what? Let's not do it today because I want to be in a good mood when we film. We want to we wanna bring out positive energies. Hey, sir, that one's mine, bro. <laughs> guys, he just took my soup. Cheers, guys. So today we're actually eating a different soup than what you just saw in the previous clip. We're eating the Olive Garden soup, um, Zupa something, I always forget how you call it. If you guys have not seen my recipe on it, you guys should check that out after this video because, guys, it's delicious. It's like, uh, it's amazing. It's, it's so good and not to toot my own horn, but I make it really good. Como sabe? If you guys follow along the recipe that I make, it's gonna taste just like the Olive Garden one. And I do have a tip for those who are watching their calories. Don't buy the pork meat, buy the chicken sausage. And skip the oil part of the recipe, so don't add any oil, just let the sausage cook within its own fats. And it still comes out bomb. Rico, no. ma'am. We're eating it with the little rice. If you guys like Sprite, there's also Sprite Zero. I'll start off, and then guys, stay tuned because his story is way crazier than mine. It's funny. I feel like you guys would relate. But for some reason, the people who end up bullying you, a lot of times are your friends. Your friends. I was called fat all three years of middle school. I think that was the main thing they made fun of me. Because... I had really bad acne, but I don't really remember them making fun of that. I think they used to call me flat-chested too. I think that was thrown in there like once in a while. And they would bully me and my friend and another girl. So, two of my friends at the time. They bullied us three. And it was two guys. We were all part of the same friend group. It was things like, let's say they're walking and they see KFC. They'd be like, oh, Michelle, like, ha, 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 like... Like anything related to like fast food, fatty food. 
Yeah, he's stealing my plate. Tú piensas que no se me vas a tener que servir más. They would make an analogy to me. And I remember one day I got so pissed because I was like, guys, I don't even... Yo, I don't even like KFC. I don't eat KFC. Like, I truly don't enjoy their food that much. Now, I got... I started liking it a little bit because he eats it. But I don't really eat that. So, it would annoy me. And I can honestly say every day was something. Like, it was one smart comment about my weight. And guys... I'm gonna try to post a picture here showing you guys how I looked in middle school because to be honest if I was overweight it was probably by 10 pounds maximum I was not like huge yet they still found a way to bully me and one of the guys was overweight too the thing about bullies is that they're sad themselves they are confused themselves so they have to radiate that energy towards you so that they can feel more powerful I'm not gonna get into it because that's you know the person's private life but my bullies again two guys that were my friends they had personal things going on in their life and in their head that's why they did it and you know if for some reason they're watching this because i mean we don't really talk anymore not for not because of that just everybody ends up drifting away after middle school but um you know i i forgave them i i i don't have a grudge towards you guys i nothing but I did realize it was bullying what you guys were doing. There's never an excuse for it, but just know that there is a reason behind it. And it's usually that they're sad with their lives, they're confused, they're going through stuff at home. Okay, so I will be getting personal with you guys and I really hope nobody thinks that everything I say on this channel is for attention or anything like that. I say very personal things on this channel from day one. You guys can check out my first video. I got very real from day one. And that's just because my whole purpose on this platform is for you guys to find me relatable. I want you guys to know that, you know, you guys are not the only ones going through these things. I mean, it's not for anything else. I don't need pity. I don't need attention. I don't need any of that. I just, I want to tell my story so that you guys can relate and you guys can see, wow, I'm not alone. Wow, I can get through this, you know? Because now, I don't get bullied. Like, now, if somebody tells me something, um hurtful i either ignore it or no honestly i ignore it <laughs> i don't even i'm not even the type to have a comeback because there's no point like my my skin is way thicker than that i know my worth the, actually a year ago me going to olive garden this guy he was like you stupid no he was like you big fat b word <sighs> I got pissed, I'm not gonna lie, but I did not say anything because it's just you cannot let them get to you. You can't, and that's what you learn after, you know, being told all these things. You have to build yourself back up. You have to love yourself enough to realize, you know, all of what they're saying are just words. And even though words hurt and they cut deep, you have the power to basically block it out. Okay, so the, the thing I'm gonna tell you guys is that Again, I'm not blaming anybody. Everybody is in charge of their own life, in charge of their own actions, but because of all these nasty words that I was being told in school, I would come home and in my head, I was like, I have to lose weight. Like, I'm so big. Like, I don't want to keep getting told this. Like, I, I just want to be skinny. I want to be, you know, normal. And again, guys, like, now it amazes me because I was... A decent weight, yet here I am stressed out and wanting to lose so much and just feeling like I needed to lose a ton. Like, I didn't think I needed to lose 10 pounds. I thought I, I needed to lose 50 pounds. It got to my head. All their words got to my head and I would eat. And then right after, I would have a cough attack, which basically meant I made myself cough. You know, I would go... <coughs> And if you do that enough, it'll make you nauseous. And I'm not telling anybody at all to do it, guys. It's actually really bad to induce vomiting on purpose. Um, something with the acids and the esophagus, it can, it can turn really bad. You can get illness from that. And it's just... Thankfully, I had somebody tell me that. And that's what completely stopped me from doing it. Because somebody that cared about me told me, stop. Like, that's very dangerous. And so I did. It was actually kind of hard for me to stop because it, it became a daily thing. Like, I would eat lunch. Like, let's say right now I'm eating my soup right after. Purge. 
it was difficult for me to stop i remember once i stopped once in a while i would still do it if i had like a binging episode i would purge right after so yeah i mean again i'm not blaming anybody that was that was just something that happened and i do think it was a consequence of me being told you're fat you're fat you're fat because before then i didn't stress over my weight like i was always conscious that i was never like the other girls i was never as skinny but it wasn't something that i was like oh my god like i have to be worried about my physical appearance no but in middle school i i that's all i could think about like how big i thought i looked and i would look in the mirror and i thought i i looked so big and i was not <laughs> but anyways i know there's people that go through way worse there's people that get beat up at school and guys please let your counselors know let your principals know let anybody in your school that you can trust know because that's not okay and even the verbal bullying that's not okay either so let somebody know because these bullies have to get put in their place they need to get detention they need to get in-house they need to get called up at home their parents need to, need to scold them you know it's not something that should be hidden nobody ever knew about my situation and i feel like if i had said it in time my bullies would have gotten a lecture about it gotten scolded and then they would have been scared to do it again so please speak out that's the number one thing i tell you guys to do and then also just build up thick skin and if somebody tells you something just let it slide let it slide don't let it phase you okay ahora tú hola cuando estaba en la escuela me hacían mucho bullying 8 o 9 años comenzaron a hacer molestar a pegarme a decirme cosas feas un don nadie, que nunca voy a ser nadie, lloró, me decía. A veces no quería ir a la escuela, me fastidiaba ir a la escuela. Yo tenía mi portafolio, a lo como eso fue como ya cuando entré al colegio. O middle school. Ponía un portafolio a mi mamá, burlaban de eso. Ay, vea, viene el abogado, que no sé qué, pero no tenía sentido así que molestaba, ¿no? Oh, they used to think he was like a nerd and they would make fun of him yeah. being a nerd, ¿cierto? Como yeah, no? sí, y, pero no era porque era buen estudiante, sino porque estaba por tapón. Me pegaban por atrás. No que lo cuento para, para que la gente diga, ay, quiero, quiero... No sea? es nada de lástima ni de sí, atención. No, 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 solo digo no, yo para, ya que, dije eso también. para que, como saben ustedes, vean para lo que están pasando, como es verdad que solo no son lo único que le pasa. Habían uh -huh. plumas así que había, sorbetas y, y ponían papel mojaban así con saliva y oh the spitball pegaban así y cosas así horrible, horrible que eso según eso no tiene sentido pero sí eso te lastima y te hace sentir mal te paga tu autoestima y eso no le recomiendo a nadie que haga los que están no. viendo y que hacen bullying no, no mm. los haga porque eso a ti no te gustaría que te hagan lo mismo pues yo tenía en mi país no, no tenía que llevar el plato a la comida se me burlaban, se me reían, ay tal pobre, ponían así como tres, cuatro niños a quererme pegar. Yo no me podía defender, yo era pelado. ¿Era mayor eso en tu clase? Como un poquito mayor. They had, so it was people who repeated the year and were in his class, but they were older. Ah, se burlaban de uno el físico, a ver, bien. El orejón, como que fue un tener orejas grande. Entonces me iba al baño a llorar. Y yo le decía a la directora, al profesor, y nada más se caso. ¿Qué? Ya, yeah, no. A veces es que allá en el país de uno así, a veces no. Y hasta el profesor me pegaba a mí. Y un día un chico me, me pegó en la cabeza horrible. Me, me dejó como, como así, me, me caí, me, me desmayé. Y él se fue, se, se escondió porque me golpeó fuerte. Y de ahí yo dije, ya nunca más me voy a dejar. Me venía, yo me paraba fuerte. Porque tú tenías que tampoco no agachar la cabeza cuando yo sé que eso te deprime y te hace sentir mal, ¿no? Pero tú no te hagas el débil. Y no te digo que les pegue ni nada de eso, ¿no? Pero no te hagas el débil, que tú siéndote más el débil, más te ven la cara, más como te Como que no, no dejes que las palabras la ya, afecten. Ya, eso, ponte fuerte. Solo como que ten sí confianza puede, en tú mismo. Ten... Alguien en un país así, que es tu número uno consejo, ¿a quién les pueden decir? Um, a tu padres? padre, pero si tu padre no, a veces ni, ni tu okay, padre pueden intentar ayuda. con los padres o si no, de todas maneras intenten pero con alguien en la escuela no. it gets better and even though right now, middle school or high school seems like it's forever 
you will get through it like you will graduate you never have to see those people again but again i do think you guys should always tell somebody you trust whether it's an adult at school or somebody at home because they can try to get you moved from that class or from that school i know that's very drastic but if it gets to the point where it's really bad that can be an option or they can tell on the bully and the bully can get transferred somewhere you know that's like you know being hopeful but either way telling an adult is always the best way to go and also talking your feelings out because i know this can lead to very terrible emotions there's people who have committed suicide because of the bullying they have been through so talk it out never feel trapped talk it out with somebody you know one day you'll get you'll be able to say you got through it and you became a stronger person from him he had more I'm stories um he had like really bad stories but in the middle of the video he told me he doesn't feel comfortable and i'm not here to pressure anybody to talk about their personal life so it's fine but little by little we will be sharing some stuff you know we can never say everything 100% because who wants their entire business out there but we can tell you guys like very important parts to try to give you guys advice but yeah so he had he had it way worse than what you guys heard it's just he he wanted to only say a part of it yeah so leave down in the comments any other chit chat you guys want to have any other advice video you guys want leave it in the comments we're always open to those we love doing those that's those are my favorite types of videos where i can just sit down and talk to you guys about something and hope that it can affect you guys in a positive way all right guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time Ciao. bye oh no i forgot i'm missing it stop